for the first time in more than a decade, Northwestern University welcomed a new president. The university's newest leader is Morton Shapiro, and his October inauguration was cause for celebration. I love this stuff. Pump I love the pomp and circumstance. I'm always a big fan of graduations and convocations. I feel great. Once the Presidential Medal was placed around his neck, it was official. Morton Shapiro became the 16th President of Northwestern University. I am absolutely thrilled to join you on this journey. Shapiro, an economist, scholar, and academic administrator, arrived at Northwestern from Williams College, where he was president for nine years. Rain forced his inaugural ceremony indoors, but could not dampen the mood of the nearly 2,000 faculty, students, staff, and guests who attended. It's a great equation for more success to take place here at Northwestern University. But while others were celebrating him, Shapiro called his inauguration a celebration of his new university. In this place of learning, we rejoice in the range and excellence of our programs. In all we do, we are united in our core values of deep intellectual curiosity, commitment to achievement in research, teaching and service, and most of all, immutable integrity. I'm very hopeful and I'm encouraged about many of the things that I've already heard about Professor Shapiro. His commitment to undergraduate education particularly is very encouraging to me. His inaugural message was light-hearted at times. My board chair said I could wear this at ceremonial occasions. I'm always going to wear this. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner, football games. This is mine. But it was serious too. The mission of great colleges and universities must be to promote the common good, Shapiro said. Whether through providing opportunity, fostering global development, increasing environmental awareness, or through our many great scholarly and artistic achievements, we must be explicit in the trade-offs we make and efficient in our use of resources. Northwestern University is elite, he said, but it must not be elitist. As a student of the history of American higher education, I'm sobered to recall how the most prestigious colleges and universities have been far from immune from the popular prejudices of the day. Religion, race, gender, nationality, sexual orientation, and class have until quite recently been criteria to exclude talented potential students from the economic and social benefits of an education at many of our institutions. In a world where myriad forces push society towards stratification, higher education must always provide opportunity. I know that with the ample resources afforded to those of us at Northwestern and at similar institutions, resources that are financial, reputational, and as Tom pointed out, most of all human, we must always remember the great adage that with privilege comes responsibility. Responsibility was the theme of symposia held on Inauguration Weekend. Economist Shapiro moderated a panel on the economics of higher education. Northwestern grad and NBC News correspondent Kelly O'Donnell moderated a symposium on energy and sustainability. For Pulitzer Prize winner Thomas Friedman, a close friend of President Shapiro's, it was the first of two highly visible roles on Inauguration Day. Friedman continued the theme when he shared the induction stage with the man he calls Morty. But imagining a new product or project, that's where the magic is. And a liberal arts education is the best fountain for imagination. I can think of no one more able to define that something extra that has to be part of American liberal arts degrees now and to actually deliver it than my friend, your new president, Morton Owen Shapiro. May you and he together go from strength to strength with a little something extra. Thank you very much. One little something extra came in the form of a gala concert at Northwestern's Pickstager Hall. It was an evening of entertainment, honoring the new president that showcased the breadth of talent at Northwestern. From jazz, to opera, to rhythm and dance. 
celebration included salutes from champions, past and future. It's an honor to be a part of tonight's celebration and to welcome President, Mrs. Shapiro, and their entire family to the Northwestern team. And it's our pleasure and, uh, and, and promise to you that we look forward to getting that last game ball and we go to Pasadena and we beat SC in the Rose Bowl. How does that sound? Welcome to our family and go Cats! It was put an emphasis on connecting to the students. I think that's a really great way for him to sort of transition to his new role. And I've seen him at every football game. Definitely think he's, you know, the perfect choice for Northwestern. Just to look at students' faces when he interacts with them, I mean, they really, you know, get that energy from him. Uh, and really, you know, definitely feel that he can, you know, understand their concerns and work to improve the Northwestern experience. For Northwestern and its new leader, a time of hope, promise, and responsibility. May Northwestern help lead the way in creating a safer, more just, more enlightened world, one that we can pass along with pride to future generations. Thank you.